going to be discussing the absolutely horrific murder of four-year-old Samaya Downing. Samaya Christine Cornell Downing was born February 14, 2008 on Valentine's Day to teenage parents Ronald and Monica. So, the relationship between Samaya's parents, Ronald and Monica, didn't last very long. They were very young. By the time Samaya was two years old, Ronald had already dipped out. He had left and he had found himself a new girlfriend in another teenage girl named Bianca Stanch. And once he started dating Bianca, he didn't really see Samaya that much. And it was at this time that Monica, Samaya's mother, started to work full time as well. And in addition to that, wanted her daughter to have a relationship with her father, if at all possible. So she started letting Samaya go over and spend time with Ronald and Bianca. In early 2012, Samaya started staying with Ronald and Bianca full time. Ronald had a house or a place to live, an apartment, and that he had a full time job. Like he was able to financially take care of her and more importantly, wanted to take care of his daughter. So that's how she ended up being in his possession. But eventually Ronald started completely isolating her. Ronald and Bianca started to completely isolate Samaya from her other family and they just didn't know where she was or how she was and no one spoke to her for a while. So now we're gonna fast forward to a year later and it's December 27, 2012 and police receive an anonymous tip that Samaya is missing, hasn't been seen for a long time and that they were worried something really up had happened to her. And it turns out that the person who called the police was the boyfriend of Bianca's cousin, Rayshawn's sister. Don't know her name, either way. Uh, it seems that the parties involved in what happened to Samaya were being pretty tight-lipped about what they did, obviously, and that they took like a vow of silence at first, but after a couple of days, Bianca's cousin, Rayshawn, who, spoiler alert, was involved, uh, couldn't take it. The guilt was getting to him and he just needed t to say something to somebody So he told his sister and his sister's boyfriend what had happened and the boyfriend almost immediately upon learning this information was like what the f And called the police and reported it. So due to this anonymous call police were on the lookout for Ronald and Bianca they ended up spotting Ronald in his car and they pulled him over and in the car he had his daughter that he had with Bianca and it was noted that Samaya wasn't there so they were like hey where's your daughter Samaya and he was like oh 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 she's with her mother Monica but police were able to quickly figure out that this wasn't true because when they contacted Monica she's like um what the f no she's been in Ronald's care for of, like almost a, an entire year. So from there, the police go to the apartment that Ronald and Bianca shared that was located at the 11,900 block of Lee Avenue in Atalanto, California to question them and search the home. Now initially police questioned the two separately and they both had very different um, stories about where Samaya was. She was either with a friend or with a family member. Definitely not here, but not to worry. She was so safe like nothing to look at over here everything is fine but police didn't really believe them and they pressed him a little farther still separately at this point point. and this is when Bianca tells police okay my cousin Rayshawn did everything like we were fine Samaya was fine everything was cool as a cucumber we left her with Rayshawn while we went to dinner and when we came back from dinner she was just gone and police didn't really believe that. And then they ended up questioning the two together. They brought them together and started questioning them together and talking about the inconsistencies in their stories. And that's when the real story started to be told. Now, it hasn't been completely disclosed what was said between police and Ronald and Bianca that day, but in response to whatever they learned, police headed out to the Mojave Desert near Baker, California. So police went out to Baker and they started searching the desert. In response to this discovery, police not only arrested 21-year-old Ronald and 19-year-old Bianca, but they also arrested Bianca's cousin, 26-year-old Rayshawn. So CPS became involved in this case after members of the school, teachers, principals, people who were responsible for reporting, reported to CPS that Samaya had come to school with a black and swollen eye. And when they had asked Amaya like how she got the injury, she said that Bianca, 
her dad's girlfriend, had beat her with a belt, and that's what caused the injury to her eye. So the school officials waited, and when Ronald came to pick her up that day, they asked him, like, how did this happen? And he told them that Samaya was playing with her baby brother, and her baby brother had accidentally caused the injury to her eye. Which made no sense, because her baby brother lived with her mother, Monica, not with Ronald and Bianca and Samaya. So, Ronald Dean Greer Jr. and Bianca Annie Mae Stanch were booked on suspicion of murder and assault on a child, and Rashawn Larice Stanch was booked for murder and a parole violation because during this time, Rashawn was on parole. It was reported that, quote, they did unlawfully having care and custody of Samaya Christine Cornell Downing, a child under the age of eight years, assault that child by means of force that to a reasonable person would be likely to produce bodily injury, resulting in the child's death. Ray Sean, I believe, was held without bail, and both Ronald and Bianca were held at a bail of $1.25 million. It came out that both Ronald and Ray Sean actually had criminal records prior to what happened to Samaya. Ronald had a prior criminal record for burglary, having stolen property, like being in the possession of stolen property and vandalizing property and running from the police. And for this, he spent a couple months in jail and was given probation. Rayshawn had a prior criminal record for assault with a deadly weapon, but had just gotten a couple months in jail and probation for this. He had also been arrested and charged again for assault with a deadly weapon, and this time child abuse as well, and spent three years in jail. He was also ordered to take anger management classes and rehab, and a restraining order was filed against him along with various other smaller crimes, and he was on probation at the time of Samaya's murder. So Ronald and Bianca were brought in to make their pleas, and when they were brought in, they were wearing green jumpsuits because they were in protective custody, probably because people don't like people who murder children. And they both pled not guilty. And I believe Ray Sean initially pled not guilty to his charges as well. This trial took a very long time to take place, and the trio ended up changing attorneys several times during this time. And it, when it finally came down to it, Ray Sean was severed. So basically what happened is Ronald and Bianca were going to be tried together, but a motion was filed to have Ray Sean severed so that he would be heard separately because essentially Ronald and Bianca decided to just turn on Ray Sean and say that everything was him. So Ray Sean, who was, by the way, legally blind, not to say he couldn't see anything, but you know, legally blind just means that you see very poorly. Uh, and he had some mental impairments as well. He ended up agreeing to a plea bargain. And in this plea deal, he would plead guilty to the willful cruelty of a child, but in exchange, the murder charges would be dropped and he was required to testify against both Ronald and Bianca at their hearings. On July 28, 2020, the trial of Bianca and Ronald began and Rayshawn testified at this trial. And he testified to the fact that Samaya was relentlessly beaten and tortured at the hands of his cousin Bianca Stanch and that Ronald Greer, her father, did nothing to stop it. He also testified that both Ronald and Bianca would use withholding food and water from Samaya, who was four years old, um, as a punishment to her. And he said that on either the night that she died or the night before she died, Bianca had made dinner and that Samaya said that she didn't like whatever they were having. So in response, Bianca's like, well then, you don't get to, you don't get to me, you can starve then. And that from that point on till the point that she did die, Rayshawn never saw her eat or drink again, that they didn't allow her to eat or drink again. And at this time, Rayshawn was living in the apartment with Ronald and Bianca, so he would have seen this. He even reported that at one point, Samaya had been so thirsty that she drank whatever she could find that was present at the time, and that what she ended up drinking was this little baby was so thirsty. Now this, I do not believe, happened um, the night before she was murdered, and they have said that drinking the cleaning solution did not affect her in, in that it was responsible at all for her murder. It had nothing to do with how she died. This is just to illustrate the abuse that she suffered prior to dying. 
Evidence in trial showed that the day that Bianca was killed, she was, it was a really, it, she was pretty badly. Once Ronald and Bianca returned home from their dinner that evening, they found that Samaya was dead in her bedroom. So the three of them then had to figure out what they were gonna do about this. Um, and what they landed on was that they were gonna just get rid of her body. In the end, a jury found Ronald Greer and Bianca Stanch guilty of murder, torture, and willfully causing or permitting a child to suffer with a special allegation of causing death. They were found guilty of this in October of 2020, and their sentencing hearing was set for March of 2021. On Friday, March 12th, 2021, so nearly 10 years after Samaya's murder, Bianca Annie Mae Stanch and Ronald Dean Greer Jr. were sentenced to 32 years to life in prison. So that, my friends, is the story of the horrific and tragic murder of four-year-old Samaya Downing. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.